Joining us on the whale line this morning, one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions. I'm talking about Cesaro. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning. I'm good. How are you? <laughs> good, good. You know, it's always a great time when the WWE comes here to Binghamton. That is true. That is true. I'm looking, looking very much forward to it. And we'll talk about your tag team matchup tonight along with Sheamus. And you've made quite an impact on the WWE and on the fans since you first came in in, what, about 2012? Yeah, yeah, I've been with WWE since 2012. And I read somewhere, Cesaro, that you actually started out as a rugby player overseas. And so how do you transition from being a rugby player into being a WWE superstar? Well, you know, uh, when I when I was young, I started playing rugby because I really liked it. And then uh, I discovered wrestling. And then I started wrestling when I was maybe 20, 21 years old. And I uh, moved to the United States in 2004. And then just kind of, like, uh, compared to, uh, like, a... Any any band that just has to tour the small small local bars until they make it into big venues, and now I'm in the big venues with famous tag team champions coming to Bingham. And one of your signature things that people notice about you is you like to wear suits. Talk to us about that. Oh well, I just I like wearing suits and dress nice. I think that may be a European thing, you know. <laughs> and uh, you know they they started calling me the, the Swiss Superman, and I was like, oh well, what a better transition. To go from, you know, myself to the Swiss Superman by ripping off my suit when I do my entrance. <laughs> so that's kind of how that came about. And uh, Cesaro, you have a, a huge fan base as well. And I thought this was funny. They call your fan base the Cesaro section. That is right. Uh, I, have a, I have a very loyal fan base, and uh, which, is, which is very, very humbling to see. And it's so much fun uh, to see how... how um, how much fun they have and they came up with the Cesaro section they just one day started printing out you know little papers that said Cesaro section on it and there were thousands of them and it's very cool and it's wherever I go so I feel like very um, in tune with my fans and that just makes it so much fun and I read in your bio that you actually speak five different languages and I'm sure with the WWE being uh, worldwide and all over the globe is that helpful to you being in foreign countries uh, it, it's very handy because I always feel when you go to a different country, I always try to learn a little bit of the language because that just connects you to the people and that shows that you actually care and not just go there and don't really care about the country. And it's just a different way to show interest in what they're doing because to me that's as important because they come to our show to have a good time. But, you know, if you're in a different country, I would like to experience their culture and kind of what they're going through. And I'm sure with your status in the WWE, there's a lot of conditioning involved. You must spend an awful lot of time at the gym. Uh, yeah, I spend a lot of time at the gym. I actually just got done at the gym a, a couple of minutes ago. So uh, it's about four days of uh, lifting weights a week. And then, of course, uh, all the, you know, five, four or five times that we're in the ring each week as well. And speaking in the ring, we mentioned that you've been doing this since about 2012. To date, what is your most memorable moment? Oh, there have been, there have been so many. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would pick, um, I won the first ever Under the Giant Memorial Battle Royal at WrestleMania 30, which was a huge milestone for WrestleMania and obviously for myself. Um, and I feel like it's something that people tend to forget, but that's my favorite moment. One hell of a moment, that's for sure. So talk to us about the WWE events coming up here at the Floyd L. Mains Memorial Arena in Binghamton, including your tag team matchup with your tag team partner, Sheamus. Yeah, that's right. It's well, a very exciting show. The Raw brand is going to come to Binghamton. And, uh, you know, there's going to be all kinds of, of awesome matches. Uh, it's going to be a champion versus champion match, which is going to be uh, Roman Reigns against Kevin Owens, which is uh, Kevin Owens is the Universal Champion, and Roman Reigns is the United States Champion. It's going to be Seth Rollins against Rusev. And, of course, most importantly, it's going to be a tag team championship on the line because me and Seamus are fighting champions, and we're going to defend it against the New Day. WWE tonight at the Floyd L. Means Memorial Arena at 7.30 with Roman Reigns, Kevin Owens, course Seth Rollins, and Rusev, and you, along with your tag team partner, Seamus, taking on New Day for the WWE Tag Team Champions and a whole lot more. So, Cesaro, anything you want to say to your fans? I want to say thank you very much for the support. And, you know, being is always a very loud and fast crowd, and I'm looking very much forward to uh, coming back there. Look forward to seeing you as well. Cesaro, thank you so much for spending some time with us this morning. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs>